Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. A quick video today showing how to connect power line adapters. I've been using these power line adapters since 2017 when they newly come out. These are made by LG. The previous ones were made by Netgear. At the time when I got these, the engineer who come to install my services, he gave me these. There were no charge. Now they've started charging. I think it's three pound a month or something. I needed some more. I got some more of them and I told them I'm not going to pay you because I was having a lot of problems with them. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll know. I'll link them above. Anyway, they said, okay, we're not going to charge you. They gave me them. My advice would be if you are thinking of using power line adapters do not rent them buy them because you could pick some good ones up for under 30 pounds they work out cheaper in the long run how these work they use your existing wiring if you've got different wiring in your house they might not work as good if you've got two ring mains in your house again they might not work as good i have been using them for three years when they work they work fine but they are a bit hit and miss at times we have had issues with them i'll show you around them first and then i'll show you how to set them up that's the small one that one has to be connected to your router with the provided ethernet cable and good thing about these is they are passed through so you don't lose a socket then my light indicators there at the top ethernet port and at the back here some information mac address and stuff the bigger one you put where your signal is weak once you've done the setup again this is passed through as well some lights there wi-fi button there and wps button you are able to set them up via WPS. That's the way I'll show you how to do them. The other way is you go into your router setting and it'll ask you for the MAC address. That's the MAC address at the back of here and the password, that's the password at the back of here. You put that in and you add it on manually yourself. But I'm going to show you the easy way of how to set them up. That's the gigabit ethernet port. Then at the side there, reset and sync because I've resetted mine. Okay, let's go and set them up now. Apologies for the lighting. As you can see, it's amber. The other end goes into the back of the router port. It's flashing red now. So I need to go connect the other one on. As you can see, that's flashing amber as well. Now it's very important if you're setting them up for the first time, leave these for 10 minutes. If there's any updates, they will update themselves. If you don't leave them for 10 minutes, they will not work properly. Because when I first got these, there were no instructions provided. I had to figure them out myself. Now they provide you with some instructions as well. Once this one has been connected to the little one, these two red lights will go off and then I'll show you how to pair them to the actual router. As you can see, the light is solid white on there. The light is solid white on the big one, but it's also red. I need to go over to the router now, push the WPS button on there and then push the WPS button on this one. And this will copy all the details from my router. That way I don't need to have a different password or a different SSID. On the hub 4, the WPS button is back here. On the hub 3, it's at the front. Push that. Started blinking, it's ready. Push the WPS button on here. Then once it's flashing green, it's copying the hub details. The hub light is blinking. Power line is copying the details of the hub. Blinking green, the Wi-Fi signal. The light has turned solid white now. I'm able to take it off from there, place it in the house where there's less Wi-Fi. And because it's using the same SSID and password as my main router, I'm not having to change anything. All I do is plug it in, wait for the light to go solid white again, and then I'm able to use this. But what I'll do is I'll connect it to my PC now, just to let you know that it's actually working. Just to show, I've connected the power line adapter to my PC wired, saying receiver transmitter, 1000 megabits. Another thing I forgot to mention, when you use these, make sure you don't plug them onto any power strips. They have to be plugged into the main socket for them to work properly. Hope this video has helped someone. If it has, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to watch more. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.